that venomous and stinger able to subdue even the most dangerous prey. But getting past its well-earned reputation reveals that the scorpion is an exceptional survivor, even a caring parent, with wit powers far beyond its notorious state. For scorpions, survival has always been the primary motivator. 450 million years ago, when plants were first colonizing land, scorpions made their debut. These were giant aquatic creatures, their sprawling bodies supported by the shifting waters of a planet in transition. Within the next hundred million years, scorpions crawled onto land, one of the first aquatic species to become terrestrial. It was a hostile environment. Scorpions not only adapted, they flourished. As the Earth cooled, they found niches to exploit. Eons passed, continents shifted. Civilizations rose and fell. In the 21st century, scorpions crawl the earth unscathed. They are living fossils, unaffected and oblivious to change. And as air conditioning now allows humans to build their homes in deserts and jungles, encounters with scorpions will only increase. Living together safely depends on understanding the habits of these remarkable animals. Scorpions now radiate across the entire planet on all major land masses except Antarctica. More, More than, than 2,000 2, different species have evolved to, to accommodate wildly different habitats. From, from rainforests rain to mountaintops to, mountain to, to sun-baked sun deserts, deserts, they've, they've got, got what it takes to survive in the most severe and, and extreme environments. Scorpions could even feel at home in a post-nuclear wasteland. Radiation, capable of wiping out almost all other life forms, seems to have little effect on them. Wherever they find themselves, they are masters at discovering a way to meet their needs. They are continuing victors in the evolutionary arms race. As their prey has evolved defenses, the scorpion has evolved better weapons to attack. Walking across the sands of southeastern Arizona, the giant desert hairy scorpion. It's the largest scorpion in North America. In this arid environment, the desert area searches for its prey, small lizards, crickets, even the tarantula. The local tarantula is a species known as the desert blind. A tarantula's eyesight is rudimentary, not nearly keen enough to spot the partially concealed scorpion. Gripping the log with its tiny claws, the tarantula manages an escape. It's a warm, windless night, perfect hunting conditions for the desert scorpions.
but, but for this, this tarantula, tarantula, it's like, it's like navigating, navigating a minefield. Mine on, on a night like this, this it's, it's only, only hope is to find refuge in a burrow of its own. The, the desert, desert area tunes into, into its surroundings, surroundings waiting, waiting to sense the smallest vibration. A slight motion behind it prompts an attack. Resistance is quashed with a quick injection of venom. The scorpion, the scorpion maneuvers the tarantula to, to consume it head, head first. A clue, A clue to, to the scorpion's, scorpion's survival lies in its archaic anatomy. The parts, the parts are rudimentary, but, but remarkably efficient. efficient. Ancient fossils show that little has changed for hundreds of millions of years. Although there are slight variations from one species to the next, the basics are always the same. The main body is covered by a hard carapace or plate impermeable to water and able to expand across its joints. Claws are used for capturing or crushing prey. These powerful pedipalps combine the sensitivity of antennae with the grasping ability of a pair of pliers. Chelicerae, or jaws, are like tiny pincers used for chewing and consuming prey. Their two center eyes and up to five pairs of lateral eyes provide only rudimentary vision. Unique to scorpions are sensory organs called pectines that protrude on either side underneath the body. They, they comb the ground, ground giving the scorpion, scorpion chemical clues to its environment. The, the articulated, articulated tail and, and, and its crown of glory, glory the stinger. Throughout human history, the scorpion, the scorpion has been feared and, and reviled. Because, because they're nocturnal, their, their habits were always shrouded in mystery, and, and people assumed the worst. Scorpions were considered agents of the devil or the, or the underworld. And, and even today, few people think of scorpions as anything less than terrifying. But the, but the truth, truth about scorpions, scorpions is only just emerging. It was, it was in the late 1960s that, that a startling discovery thrust scorpion research on an enormous leap forward. All species of scorpions fluoresce under ultraviolet light. The glow is caused by a substance in the outer layer of the scorpion's body. This, this glowing layer, layer is, is so durable, durable that, that it's that often it's found in scorpion fossils hundreds of millions of years old, and, and it still fluoresces. No, no one yet knows the function of this feature, but, but it's, it's allowing researchers to find and study scorpions as, as they roam through the dark. Scorpions are evolutionary success stories. 
What is, what is their, their secret to survival? To survival? Is it, Isn't their foolproof anatomy? Their, their ability to adapt? Or, or is it something else entirely? The, the answer may, may lie in the hunt. A, a scorpion is, is an unflinching assassin. With, with merciless pincers and a, and a venom charged stinger, a hungry scorpion is built to kill. strategies have been honed to perfection. This, this Death Stalker is, is engaged in the hunting method of choice for almost all species of scorpion. Hunkering down in a protected burrow seems an unlikely place for a seasoned killer, but evolution teaches lasting lessons. Hunting for prey can be done just as easily from the safety of your doorstep. This Asian forest scorpion is one of the many species that prefers home delivery. From its bunker, a scorpion can check out the evening's offerings. After dark, a parade of nocturnal creatures erupts onto the desert floor. It could well be the cast from a nightmare. These, These night crawlers are enticed out by the evening's lower temperatures and cooling desert sands. It's only a matter of time before one will venture across a scorpion's burrow door. With no time to react, this wolf spider is dragged into the scorpion's lair. A feast can take several days and may be enough to sustain a scorpion for months. Although a burrow is preferable, every once in a while a scorpion may decide to stretch its legs. This giant desert area is one of few species known to venture out for food. Like, like all scorpions, the, the desert hairy is able to detect prey using the incredibly sensitive hairs on its legs. Even a mealworm's subtle movements create vibrations through the ground. The hairs act like sophisticated sensors picking up the tiny waves. As, as the grains of sand shift, the, the waves hit the hairs of each leg at slightly different intervals. This, this information is processed quickly, telling the scorpion the direction and exact distance of its prey. This, this mealworm may as well be holding a flashing neon sign. With such a lethal skill set, a scorpion rarely needs to venture far from its burrow. Whether it's an ambush or an attack, the hunt is only the beginning. Armed with weapons of destruction, the methods scorpions use to kill their prey varies from species to species.